जान पहचान हो जीना आसान हो जान पहचान हो जीना आसान हो दिल को चुराने वालों आंख न चुराओ नाम तो बताओ जान पहचान हो I didn't like too many of the scripts I was getting and thought I could do better and by writing my own and I approached this guy whose comics I liked who seemed like a really good writer who lived near me about working on a script together and that's what we did. I don't work in terms of conscious messages. I can't do that. I, it has to be something that I'm revealing to myself while I'm doing it, which is hard to explain, I, which means that while I'm doing it, I don't know exactly what it's about. All the films I've made to some degree are about the same thing, which is the risks and rewards of being an artist or being an outsider, you know. Terry Zweigoff was told by everybody who worked with him that, you know, you, the one thing you want to don't want to do is to make another film based on a comic book or to have anything to do with a comic book, and he absolutely agreed. And then I guess Robert Crumb or somebody gave him a copy of Ghost World, and he just sort of got fixated on it. I was a very alienated kid, you know. I was always trying to find something to connect with, some place to fit in, and... Still are, still, still am to some degree, you know. It's a very alienating culture to me. I don't quite like the same music other people like, and, you know, I like to stay home and read books, and everybody else wants to go out and play volleyball and drink beers and party. I there are many different ways we can express ourselves. We can do things like these cartoons that are amusing as a sort of a light entertainment, or we can do work that is more serious in scope and feeling and it deals with issues i'm drawing some portraits of girls that i had crushes on in high school we're in milford delaware this one i'm drawing now is one known in new house affectionately known among the boys as the shelf she had this like really phenomenal rear shelf my father was like had this really grim job <clears throat> working for clothing stores his whole life we had to like fold shirts and pants after people tried and it was really grim i visited him as a kid i and I just thought to myself at the time, I'd rather do anything else than this. Uh, can I get a medium 7-up? Medium? Why, sir, do you not know that for a mere 25 cents more, you could purchase a large beverage? Medium is really only for suckers who don't know the concept of value. I was working like a regular civil servant job, really boring job for the welfare department. And I stumbled on this old blues musician who happened to be still alive, who I had one record, but I only made one record back in the early 30s. Very obscure character. And I decided to do a little magazine article on him that blossomed into this crazy film that got successful. And then I made another documentary that was wildly successful. And then I started getting scripts. It's, uh, it's only about B minus. It's got an incipient lamp crack, but it plays decent, as I recall. Jeez. When I listen to old music, that's one of the few times I actually have a kind of a love for humanity. You hear the best part of the soul of a common people, you know, just their, their way of expressing their connection to eternity or whatever you want to call it. Modern music doesn't have that calamitous loss that people can't express themselves that way anymore, you know. I don't read comics too much, no, I don't. I like to read books instead, generally. But dance comics are very uncomic book-like, you know. They are more like novels. They use really great dialogue and really uh, great characterizations. Ghost World would be appealing to teenagers because I think it's about the way real teenagers are and it's about the way uh, real teenage relationships are. It's not a, uh, a fictional fantasy version that you see in most films. You just hate every single guy on the face of the earth. That's not true. I just hate all these extroverted pseudo bohemian losers you guys up for some reggae tonight actually i remember being like four years old i think it was my aunt or my my mother's sister and kind of humping her legs and her shoes like under the table and i remember going in the, my mother's closet and she had these cowboy boots that she wore when it rained and, and humping those in the closet <laughs> we're all close friends though you know i can't imagine doing that with like a you know impersonal studio producer who you don't really agree with or you don't really find smart or relate to or you know a writer who you don't really connect with you know it's hard to articulate but it has something to do with the whole decline of western civilization <laughs> how's that <laughs> I'm
पहचान हो